it's over. If Marvel follows through with this, this leak, this rumor, if this is actually going to happen the way everybody thinks it's going to happen, it is over for Marvel. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you already know what this video is about. This is about Marvel potentially bringing back the OG Avengers. So it says here, Marvel's reportedly looking to bringing back the OG Avengers cast. Iron Man and Black Widow would be revived. They haven't committed to the idea yet. There are so many reasons why this would be a bad idea if they do it specifically because they think it is going to bring in some sort of nostalgia. They are relying on nostalgia for properties they are still making right now. We're still in the MCU. This isn't like the you know uh, it ended in Endgame and the movies have been gone for like 10 years. They're talking about nostalgia baiting something that they're still making content for. I'm trying to think if that's ever happened before. The reason why this would be a bad idea, the main reason is it would be done specifically for money. They would be doing this to make money. And yes, I'm not under any disillusion that studios don't do things for money. I've said many, many a times that everything they do is with the desire to make money. However, this particular move, bringing these characters back after giving them an ending just to make another movie with them would be done just to make money. There is no artistic merit with this kind of nostalgia bait in the existing MCU. I don't see how it works any other way. There's also a lot of cultural issues with why bringing it back would be a problem. It would be, uh, you know, socially there would be issues with it because of the discourse here on YouTube and on the internet. There's so many things that could go wrong with this that this just doesn't seem like a good idea to me if they're just going to bring them back, revive them and bring them back. Now, I do think there's a way to do this that makes sense. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's just fathom what this would look like. So if they bring back all of these characters and they put them in a movie and they, they just do like an OG Avengers thing or whatever, it sort of diminishes everything that happened during Infinity War and Endgame. All the, the hard line stuff they did, all the stuff that Marvel was criticized for in terms of like getting rid of characters and putting stakes on things. If you bring them back, you completely diminish that. And you set the bar really high with those movies when it comes to the Avengers with this particular cast of Avengers. You set the bar really, really high. People would be going into whatever the new Avengers movie would be expecting that level of, of uh, storytelling with characters that you just brought back from the dead. It would require you to invest in a multi-part arc to make it even have any value whatsoever. So you couldn't just bring them back in one movie and expect to get that same emotional resonance you got from Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron, and the in Infinity War and Endgame. You, you can't get that just bringing them back. And considering some of the other news that's coming out with the amount of money that Marvel wants to spend on properties and what's going on behind the scenes, I can't imagine investing that kind of money into that because you would do it, you'd, you'd put out like something, like say for example, they wanted to do it like a three-part movie or whatever, which I can't imagine they would because Infinity War and Endgame were only two parts. I can't imagine they would do three parts just to bring these characters back. But if they did, they'd be investing like 200, 250 million per movie, which is part of the problem. The solution to the money issue is save the big, the big inflated budgets for movies for the big team up films and go back to like the one, 100 million to $150 million movies. Stop making everything as expensive as a team up, like a big team up movie. There's a lot of solutions. This to me is, is a low hanging fruit. I can't imagine there's any artistic merit behind any of this. Now, when I talked about like the social impacts and stuff like that, we have channels that have wanted Marvel to fail. Now, look, Eventually, everything underperforms. There's no studio that's been making something for as long as Marvel's been making movies that 100% knocks it out of the park every single time. It, it's just, it, it was bound to happen at some point. Now, I'm looking over here at the phase four, phase five, which is why they thought about this, I guess, is because they're looking at the numbers or whatever. At the beginning of phase four, we had three movies that were trying to perform when COVID was still relatively in its moment. Then we had Spider-Man No Way Home, which did amazing. 
Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness also did really, really amazing, almost did a billion. Thor Love and Thunder, even with all these issues, still performed really well. And Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, still performed really well. Did make a billion, but still performed really well. Those were the last four movies in Phase 4. Meaning that Shang-Chi, Black Widow, Eternals all didn't perform right for them because it was just... The timing was wrong. They were trying to get the movies out. They did like a, a dual release thing with, with some of it. So it, it just, it didn't work. You think that's the lessons the studios would take from it, especially with everything that's going on. And then we have phase five, which we've had uh, two things, almost three, because Marvel's is right around the corner, with one thing that underperformed, which was Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. That movie underperformed. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did really well. The Marvels is tracking lower, but it's part of a problem that the studios have created for themselves. With the actors on strike, with the writers being on strike, there was no way to really promote a lot of stuff that came out. So unless your movie was an extremely low budget movie that could turn out a profit based on that alone, there wasn't a lot you could do. After Barbie and Oppenheimer, movies that did get a pretty much proper promotional cycle did really well, we have been in this lull. We're seeing it across the board. Advertisements on YouTube are down. Revenue is down for people. Views are down for people. It all has to stem back to the fact that actors are not doing anything to promote their properties now. So this is reactionary. This is massively reactionary if it's based just on that alone. If they do this and they do it specifically for the money, it is going to be garbage. And I love these actors as much as anybody else, but it would be absolutely garbage and shit if they just made these movies just to make money. Because there's no lessons to be learned from that. They just think these actors are going to come back and they're going to make a ton of money. And maybe they would. May, look, maybe they would make a ton of money, but I don't think the, the product is going to be good if they do it just for the sheer fact of making money. It just doesn't make any sense. And it ruins all the stakes that they've had. There is a possibility that because of the multiverse and variants and all that, that they did already have plans to bring these characters back into the fold. That they did already assume that with everything happening at the end of phase six, that they were going to be bringing back these characters for like a one-off type thing. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe that was one of the ideas they had is to bring back the Avengers for one of these Avengers movies. And with everything going on with Jonathan Majors right now, um, and all of that drama, which I'm doing a video about that as well, with all that going on, it would not surprise me that they want to draw their everybody's eyes away from that by bringing back some characters that people love to replace whatever the story was going to be with Kang. That's a possibility. Either way, I don't like this. I don't think it looks good for them. I think it looks like desperation. Uh, it doesn't feel good as somebody that loves pretty much everything that Marvel has done, um, with the exception of Thor Love and Thunder. I think that movie was not good. But everything else I've, I've enjoyed. I like some of the changes coming to the TV shows. I think there's a lot of positive things that are happening. Do not go in reverse. Don't go back to doing something specifically because you think it's going to make you money. Because that is not quality. That is not being good to the fans. It's it smells desperate and you're going to give a lot of these culture vultures who hate Marvel all day. You're going to give them tons of material because this isn't going to make them change their minds either. If you're doing this because you think it's going to change the hearts and minds of the people that have already thrown in the towel, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Only bring these characters back if you think it's of value. And I just don't see that being the case.